Year 298, Westeros, realm of the Seven Kingdoms. The world has changed. The ancient Targaryen line of kings had its fire extinguished after reigning over the Seven Kingdoms for many centuries. Robert Baratheon's rebellion unified most of the realm's great houses under a single banner, thus bringing about the fall of the Targaryens. Thus, 15 years ago, he acceded to the Iron Throne, becoming Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. What up, y'all? It's your boy Red here, and I'm going to be reviewing Game of Thrones, the video game. I'm not talking about the Telltale one, or maybe there's another one I missed. I'm talking about the, the 2012 one, the 2011 one, whatever year it was. The one that was released, that it's like Dragon Age 1. But Game of Thrones, man. What I mean by that is like, you have your, I think it's time-based attacks and shit, your character, and shit like that, man. So before I get into all that, the mechanics and shit, uh, excuse me. Let's talk about where it's set, right? Well, if you do the math, it's uh the game is set and uh, concurrently with events that happen in season one of the HBO Game of Thrones. You know when. Uh, um, shit happens, you know, where well, we meet the characters and all that. Well, during these events uh, in this game, you play as two characters, man. One is the Night Watchmen, if you guys don't know who they are, they're the ones that guard the gate to the north. The other one is uh, a lord who exiled himself and he's coming back to one of the many lands of the Game of Thrones. Preferably, he his land is underneath... Or he works for underneath the Lannisters, which if you guys don't know, the Lannisters basically control the entire region, especially towards the end of season one. So there you go. Um, mechanics are pretty okay. They're kind of old school. Like I said, like Dragon Age 1 mechanics, man. You have time based. Uh, you wait for your attack to happen and stuff like that. It's not like it's turn based. It's time based, right? Um, overall pretty easy uh, I never didn't really have a I mean I'm, I'm an expert in the Dragon Age 1 mechanics and other mechanics like that like Final Fantasy 12 where it's time based you just wait for your attack to happen uh, so I'm pretty used to it MMOs do that too it's kind of like that style um, story wise was pretty interesting actually that's what kept me going the story was good um, events that happened in season 1 like the whole when uh, uh, as soon as it uh, no spoilers, but I mean, come on, if you don't have not watched Game of Thrones Season 1, what's wrong? But, um, you know, the king dies, and then the fucking queen, Queen Cersei, fucking sends mercenaries to kill all the in, uh, bastard children from King Robert and shit like that. Well, this kind of ties in with that, since um, it goes, you find out that one of the women that you're you hired to save actually is carrying one of King Robert's children. So you're like, whoa. I know, get some crazy shit, man. But, um, yeah, that's what kept me going. The story was fucking interesting. I wanted to see how it planned out. And, uh, I will say this I was not disappointed. It was pretty good. Um, you also get to loot bodies, sell their shit, make money that way. Uh, you have choices throughout the game, your, your dialogue options, that's what, another thing that was cool. I like those dialogue options, um, picking what you say. I'm, I don't know how big of an effect it does on the story, but there you go. So with the two characters you can play as, it switches between them. You get uh, Moore's Westford, uh, hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, he's my favorite, man. Moore's was tight. He was a, a knight for the Lannisters back in the day when they, the rebellion first happened 15 years ago. In their time, not our time. <laughs> um, he was actually tasked with killing the queen and her children, but refused. So that's when the mountain came in and killed them. If you don't know who the mountain is, you should watch Game of Thrones. And um, so he refused. 
And in that refusal, of course, there's only three things that could happen to you. You get, oh, well, actually two in this case. You get death or sent to the wall. He went to the wall willingly, but at first he made sure his wife and daughter were safe. Because they could get killed. You don't know the Lannisters like he does. Especially the, the fucking older Lannister motherfucker that controls the house during the season one. Yeah, it could get crazy, man. But Moore's is cool, best ranger, top-notch tracker. He's also a skin or whatever that word that control animals. That's pretty cool. My favorite character, especially the dog, can kick ass. Um, then we also have uh, the second character you can play as, fucking Alistair Sarwick. He's a lord that um, he saw a lot of shit during the rebellion. So at the end of it, he just left. Left the house in charge for his father and his brother. Came back hearing about his father's death. Trying to uh, figure shit out. He became a priest or something. Of the fire or something. Uh, I'm not that well versed in the lore of Game of Thrones. I watch it. But I'm not that well versed in the world. Um, so he's a fire something mage. Or I don't know what he is. He's a good fighter though. Good healer. I'd use him for heals. That's for damn sure. You need some heals in this game. Um, he's an interesting character too. It's just I like Morris better. But he's cool though. He has his own problems to deal with. Uh. Trying to get his lands back from the Lannisters and stuff like that. Hey, we all need to get our land back, right? Anyways. But yeah, th those are your two characters. There's more characters in the game, but these are your main two you'll play as. So I kept these short. The game, okay. The game is okay. It's not the greatest. The story is good. But the gameplay is not the greatest. Um, I wish it was, uh, was a little bit better because it's a great game. Uh, music was well, the most of the music comes from the show. Um, battle system, a little rough, but I mean that's what you get with those battle systems. I still like them because they're pretty funny and clunky, and they do some crazy shit. Um, but it's okay. You definitely need your tactics in this. You don't want to go in there half cock. It's not a hack and slash where you can just slash until they die. Hell no. You gotta need some tactics in that bitch. Um, Overall, what would I give this game? Man, it was entertained me, but it has its problems, it has its flaws, you know. But it was still an average game. I liked it. I'm gonna give it a, a six, a five. Man, between five and six, I'm gonna go with six. It was an average game. No, five. We'll go with five. Five. It's an average game, man. It wasn't bad. I liked it. It was one of those games you just play or you buy it cheap as fuck and play it. It was good, man. It was good. All right. Hey, man, thanks for watching this review. Hit that like, hit that sub, and catch you all next time.